All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to somewhat replicate your little uh, profile display over at reddit.com. I've created this component right over here. Notice I have my banner, the icon, my username, the karma, and my cake day. Now we can get the followers, but for some reason it wasn't working right for me in KOWP. But some people do not have a followers piece anyway, and some folks do not have a banner. But everybody has some karma to get over at Reddit, and everybody has a cake day as well as a username. So all this stuff sits inside of a Reddit user stuff component. You can find this from my free components folder. And if we head on over to globals, there are quite a few globals in here, and these are mainly for just adjusting things to your liking. Now I'm not going to go over all of these in detail because, like I said, a lot of it's just to customize it to your liking. But instead, I'm going to start with a blank component and just go over some of the key pieces that you must have in order to get this information. And i tell you what I'm going to do inside of that component. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And you'll be able to find this one in my free components folder as well. Reddit user info basic. We're not going to put the flashy banner up there, but I do want to show you how to get this information. The cake day is a little bit tricky, but just hang tight. So now we are inside of this new blank component. Let's head on over to globals and let's go ahead and talk about the first global that we need to have, or rather you don't really need it, but I like to utilize my globals whenever possible so that I don't have to type in a lot of repetitive code. And the first global I'm gonna show you here is the URL. Let's make this a text global. Press okay. And this URL is going to be right here, reddit.com slash user slash, and then right here I have my username, but you can put pretty much any Reddit user's name right here in this spot, slash about.json. So I'm going to take that URL with the HTTPS and I'm going to copy it. Head on over to this URL here and I'm going to paste. I'm going to take away my username and instead we're going to put a global in this spot. I'm going to call that GV user. So right now it's not returning anything, but let's go ahead and check on that. Let's add a text global. And since I already called it user, I'm going to make that a text global, press OK, and put in that username. Whatever username you want to get information about. So in this JSON, we can expand this. And by the way, I'm on Chrome and I am using an extension. I'm using the JSON viewer extension. But if we expand this data tab here, notice we can get quite a bit of information. The key things I want to show you here quickly, I want to show you the karma. And there's two places that we can get karma from. We need the link karma as well as the comment karma. Those are the two ways that you can get karma on Reddit. And we want to add those together. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go back to my items. I'm going to add a text item. And for this text, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. Let's go inside that text and let's navigate this JSON. And to do that, down here in our custom functions, we need the WG, the web git. Scrolling on down there, you want to look for this one right here with the JSON in the code. And we want to edit a few things. The first thing we want to edit is the URL, and that is going to be GV URL. Now this GV URL is going to be this, and it is going to link up that username there since we did establish that earlier. And now here where it says .IP, we want to change this path so that we can get to these particular pieces. Let's go ahead and get to the link karma. And first of all, I'm gonna put a dot. And this link karma is a child of data. Now data is not a child of anything, so we can start with dot data, dot, and then we wanna go down to that link karma because that link karma is not sitting inside of anything else. It is a child of data. Make sure you type it in exactly like you see it without the quotes. So we have link underscore karma. And check it out, 1197, and that's exactly what I have for my username. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of this, gonna copy it, gonna come down here, gonna paste it, and instead of link karma now, we want to get the comment karma. So we have 203, that matches this here, perfect. Now we want to add these together, so I can come back in here and delete this dollar symbol, delete that dollar symbol, and I can put a plus in between those two codes, and we have a total of 1400. Checking this over on my profile, that matches up perfect. So I have several videos on my channel of navigating a JSON, just like we did here. But now the one for our created date, our cake day. We have two different options down here. We have a created here and a created underscore UTC. Well, if I check out my cake day, it's September 17th, 2016. 
The one that we want to use is going to be this one right here, the created without the underscore UTC. Let me copy that. Heading over to Google, typing in Epoch Converter. First one that pops up, let's paste that code in and let's convert it. And notice what it says, September 17th, 2016. This is what we wanna get from this Epoch time. And this is where things can get a little bit tricky. So heading back to that JSON, let's make sure we can navigate to this. And that navigation is going to be dot data. And then if we come on down, dot created. But watch what happens when we do this. And I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna do it right here in the same spot. So I'm just gonna enter down a little bit. Let's do the web git, GV URL, JSON. Let's do dot data, dot created. Close it up, dollar symbol. All right, so check out what we got here. We got one point blah, 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 e to the ninth or e9. This is scientific notation. Now it's gonna be a very, very, very long time until epoch time hits 11 digits. Let me zoom in on this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 digits, and then we have this dot zero. Now, none of us are gonna be around when epoch time hits 11 digits, so this is gonna be okay. Here's what I wanna do first of all to make this a number something like this right here. I want to remove that decimal and I want to remove the E and anything after it. And we can do this in any order we want. We wanna do a TC reg. Over here, what do we wanna search for? Put in a comma and in quotations, we want to search for a period, but we have to escape this period because a period has a special feature in regex. But if we want it to be literally a period, we can escape it like that put our period, outside of that quotation, put a comma. What do we want to replace it with? We put this in double quotes and I want to replace it with absolutely nothing. So I'm gonna leave nothing inside of those double quotes. Close it up, check it out. The period's gone. It searched for the period, it replaced it with nothing. Now with this, we want to do another TC reg. Don't forget your comma. At the end here, put another comma. What do we wanna search for now? We want to search for the letter E, putting this in quotes, and more than likely you're gonna have a nine after it, so you could do E9. I'm just gonna do E dot star. That's gonna look for an E and anything after it. I don't want any of that junk after it, so I'm gonna close that with a quote. So we're looking for that E with anything after it. What do we wanna replace it with? Inside of double quotes, again, put nothing inside of there. We just want to delete it, and that's how we're pretty much doing this here. Parentheses, boom. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine digits, but we need 10. I need that extra zero right there so that this epoch time will work right. Well, here's how we can do this. We can use some right padding on these numbers. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's head into the text converter function. And if you scroll on down, we have this TCR pad. Well, notice this input right here, right after the R pad is a five. That's that number there. This 10 is going to tell us how many digits we're going to have. Now, 10 in all, the five is included. So essentially what we have here are nine additional zeros. So we have 10 digits, the first digit is a five, and we're gonna replace zeros after it. Let's see how we can apply that to this crazy code up here. Well, this is my input. This is my five. Of course, this is a lot bigger. But what I want is a total of 10 digits and all we have right now are nine digits. So what we can do here is we can do TC, R pad, put a comma. So with the R pad and a comma, this is the number that we wanna put in. Well, that is that number that we've just done all that regex on. After that, put a comma. How many digits do we want? We had 10 in this example, 10 total digits. It turns out there's 10 total digits in our epoch time. So let's do 10 here. And then let's follow that with a comma and let's just put a zero there so that we can fill in those remaining places with zero. So we had nine digits originally. By us doing this R pad with 10 total digits, if we don't have 10 digits, it's going to fill them in with zeros. Now this matches perfectly. Next thing, this code's already long enough, right? So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take all this, I'm gonna cut it. We still have our karma stuff here, which is fine. That code was nowhere near as bad as what we're doing right now. I'm gonna check on that. Let's head back over to globals and let's create a new global. And for this global, I'll call it cake. This is gonna be a text global. Press okay. 
and let's paste that code into there. So there's that same thing. Now I don't have to worry about this getting all tangled up in my code that I'm getting ready to do now. It's just a little bit more, not too much. Check on that. Head back over to our items. I'll come back into this same text item where we have our karma. Just enter down a few spaces. And let's check out GVK. Same exact numbers, but not a lot of lines of code here. Well, what we want to do is a date format, DF function. So DF, and let's test this out. Let's test it out. I want to get the number month slash the day of the month slash a four digit year for GVK. So I'm separating that with a comma. So I want this format of the date, but it's going to be looking at this GVK, those crazy 10 digits we saw. It's going to be looking at that epoch time and closing that up with the parentheses, notice we do have September 17th, 2016. And now if we wanted to get it to match like this, we just have to do this code several times. And here's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna come in here and delete that. I'm going to do four capital M's for the full month. Let me select all this, copy, space over one spot. Let me paste it. Let's get our date now for this epoch time. So I'm just gonna do a single D. Therefore, if we have a single digit, we won't see 0, 5, 0, 6, 0, 7. We'll just see 5, 6, 7. And then put a comma, space outside of that code and pasting it one more time. Let's see the four digit year. And just like that, we have our two basic pieces. The 1400 from our karma and my cake day. Now you can navigate back into this JSON and find tons of other stuff. Just bear in mind, some users do not have certain things. Some people do not have banners like this right here. And I found that if the user does not have a banner, it will not pull it up in that original component I showed to you. And when I say that original component I showed to you is this one right here, one that somewhat replicates what we have over here. And there you have it, using just KOWP to get our karma, our cake day, and some other information from reddit.com. If you like what you see and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.